Hello everyone and welcome to another introduction video from BeamObject. I am Laura and today I will show you some new Revit families developed by Isopan, a world leader in the production of metal and insulating panels. We can use the integrated BeamObject toolbar, which is a plugin for Revit, to browse the BeamObject cloud directly. We can use the integrated Beam Object toolbar, which is a plugin for Revit, to browse the Beam Object cloud directly through our software. The app will automatically look for Revit files and we can easily find Isopan products with filters help. We can use brand filter to search for, uh, to search for them directly or categories, classification and so on. Here we can see Isopan first release, which includes polyurethane and rock wool sandwich panel for wall and roofing. We choose to see if Isobox can suit for our project. Through the product page, we see a description where we learn the essential information about this product. Then, uh, then Isopan delivered all the information needed to help us specify this product. We have links to their website, info about materials and where this product has been designed and produced, and classification. So we can always use the follow button to be updated about uh, Isopan further releases and press the heart below the product picture to add the uh, isobox to the list of our favorite beam objects, uh, the beam board. If we click on the download button, we will see the files available for this product. Isobox is a wall panel which can be mounted vertically or horizontally. We can choose to download the one we need or if in doubt, download both and try them. Now we will try horizontal mounting version. Thanks to the beam object app, the project file which contains the Isopan families will be opened directly in my software. Isopan Beam Objects have been developed for Revit 2014 and can be updated automatically to be used with following version as is happening here. Once the file is opened, we can see a sheet which introduced us the product. We have a short description and uh, are shown all isobox uh, thicknesses available. We have also a 2D, which shows uh, the connection between the two panels. Here are some of the properties available for this object. We can access them also through the type properties inside the project. If we go see the 3D view, we can see how the product looks and again, how the panels are linked each other. In the thinner version, we don't need the coating, while there is in all the other thicknesses. We can now design a new wall with Isopan product. We select wall command and we select a wall command and choose which type we need. Then we will be able to easily draw the wall. Here is our Isopan sandwich panel as designed and uh, if needed we can change the thicknesses going into type properties and choosing the new one. Now let's go on a real project. We already designed the wall with generic curtain wall but we want to better define it with Isopan products. We go on manage, transfer project standard from the open Isobox uh, file and then choose uh, curtain wall types. Now Isobox curtain wall has been implemented in this project. We can see them all in the wall list. Now we choose the wall we want to define in the project and change it to Isobox of 35 millimeters. Now all the walls have been substituted and it's time to change the old grid to a new one, which better take advantage of Isopan products characteristics. For example, we can delete some of the vertical grid in order to use a longer panel. Just click on the grid and press the delete button 
and the curtain wall will adapt according to the new grid. We can have one last view to the section of the product integrated in the project. And here it is. It's all for today. If you need some help, feel free to contact both BeamObject and Isopan. You're welcome to test those files inside your latest project. Looking forward for the next video. Ciao!